Uh, okay. Sorry. All right. So anyway, happy Sunday morning. Welcome everybody. Those of you joining us by audio video, we want to welcome you to New, New Beginnings Church of the Big Bend. Amen. Amen. Woo! Feliz domingo por la mañana, and we want to welcome you. Bienvenidos a la iglesia del nuevo comienzo. So welcome, NBC family, visitors, visitors, and all those joining us by audio and video. And we wanted to say welcome, welcome, welcome. Amen. Amen. So get ready, get prepared. I'm excited. I don't know about you, but uh, you know, on a daily basis, the Word of God says, "This is the day the Lord has made. Rejoice and be glad in it." Amen. Are you rejoicing and are you being glad? Because you know what? Because there's lots of things coming against you. Yeah. Amen. There's a lot of distractions coming against yeah. you, and you know what? It's never going to be perfect until Jesus comes back. So the main thing to do is get yourself right with Him. Amen. Get your relationship strong. And before you face the world, before you face anybody, yeah. spend time with Him. Get yourself right. Build yourself up in Him, you know, because uh, your enemy is busy. He comes to do what? Steal, kill, 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 and destroy. Amen. So you know what? Hey, there's a lot of things coming at me right now. <laughs> but guess what? I've got my armor on. Amen. I've got Jesus on. I'm turned on for God. And I ain't going to let these things bring me down. You know, a lot of people invite you to parties, especially pity parties. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't attend. <laughs> Don't take the care. Don't take those uh, pity things. Amen. Don't let nobody steal your joy. So the Bible says, joy of the Lord is your strength. Yes. So why are you giving it up? Don't give it up. Okay. Amen. There's many distractions. There's many things. And we've been talking about this. The Lord's been dealing with this. I know you know who you are. I'm talking to you. Mm. It's time to give it up. He yeah. says, cast it on me because yes. I care for you. Thank you, Lord. He's got a special mission for you. If you don't see yourself that way, see yourself the way he sees you. He sees you a winner. He sees you a champion. He says, you can do all things through me. When you see yourself that way, say, praise God, I'm not going to let nothing stop me. Distractions, friends, enemies, whatever it may be coming against you, it ain't going to stop me. I'm going to press on. Amen. Listen, I'm talking to the church of God. I'm talking to the body of Christ. Amen. And I've got a nugget here for you. I've got plenty of nuggets here for you. It says, church, that's me. You can point at yourself. I am the church. I am the body of Christ. Amen. Yes. And it says the church is not an audience to be entertained. The church is an army of God that needs yes. to be empowered. Amen. Amen. You need to be empowered. Yes. So we're not here to be entertained. That's right. Sometimes he wants to slap, spank us good, you know, and, and correct us. Yeah, hey, I, I, I like it nice and easy too. Uh -huh. But you know, sometimes the word is going to clean us up yeah. the word's going to correct us amen so he wants to do these things so and he wants to bless you <laughs> but we're a church of god and the church is the army of god that needs to be empowered you need to empower yourself if you have, don't have a bible get you one you know how i got my first one i went to the thrift store and bought me one cheap but the word of god is not cheap you got to get that word in you and you can make it strong and be strong in Him. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Get you a Bible and start getting the Word of God in you. You're an army. You got to build yourself up. You know, when I was in the military for 20 plus years, <laughs> we stayed bad already. It ain't no surprises. And don't be surprised. The enemy comes to steal, kill, destroy each and every day, each and every opportunity. But you got to stay bad already. Amen. You got to stay bad already. You're not a wimp. You're a winner. Amen. You're a winner. You're a warrior for God. Amen. Warriors fight. Amen. They just don't sit back and take it. No. But you got to get the word in you. When you get fired up in the word of God, ain't nothing going to hold you down. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. That's just a few. That, that was one nugget. Here's another nugget. <laughs> you got a few problems? Don't tell your God you have big problems. Tell your problems you have a big God. Yes. Amen. We need to turn this around. Yeah. 
You know, you go to God, Lord, I got a lot of problems. Guess what? He already knows. Yes. What are you doing about it? Yes. I gave you my word. Yes. I gave you all these things for right. you to use against yes. these things. Amen. You're an overcomer. Yes. You can do. You can do all things all through Christ, who strengthens you. Amen. Yes. But don't tell God you have big problems. Tell your problems, you know what? Yeah. I have a big God. Yes. And when yeah. people come to you, God will send people your way. Yeah. Say, hey, how did you overcome this? Uh -huh. This is how I overcame. I made Jesus Lord of my life. Yeah. I studied the Word. I started walking in the Word, speaking the Word, and yeah. living the Word. Amen. Yeah. Whew. Man, these 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 are great. Man, you can you can write these down. <laughs> Here's another one. Don't face each day or an enemy until you have faced your God in prayer. Yes. You don't have to face this world. Don't face each day or your enemy or anything else until you face your God. Yes. And you know what? When I face my God, I am battle ready. Uh -huh. I am ready for whatever the world brings. Amen. That's what David did. He saw a time. Uh -huh. He says, you ain't no match for my God. That's what you need to do. You need to be so full of God. Ain't no giants out there big enough right. to bring you down. He says, today, he said, I'm going to have you. He said, I'm going to cut your head off. Mm -hmm. Amen. Woo. <laughs> anyway, we've been talking. Uh, we're going to continue with uh, last week's uh, message. And before, you know, I'm so fired up. I'm just going <laughs> to... Pull back a little bit and uh, grab your sword again, grab your Bible, yes. and let's declare this. Let's make this declaration together. Yes. Amen. So grab your Bibles and say this. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the Word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes. Woo, man. If that don't fire you up, I don't know what will. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you need to get yourself fired up. You know, yeah. like we used to have a pep rallies before yeah. each game. You know, your team playing, and you get fired up. And you're ready to get out on the field. Say, wait a minute, you're not a player. But you want to get on the field. Right. Amen? And you got to do your part. What do you do as a fan? You just raise up. You raise your voice. You raise your hands. And you get into the game. Any which way you can. Well, as a child of God, we get into the battle quick. You know, because we're in the battle. Yeah. Amen. We're in the battle. But we need to be fired up and yeah. in the things of God. Amen. Yeah. So God will make a way. God will make a way. That's what we're talking about. He will make a way in times of troubles, in times of trials, in times of temptations. In trusting and in transgressions. Amen. Yes. In uh, John 14, 6, it says, Jesus said unto them, He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father except through me. Yes. He is the way. And as a matter of fact, I wrote it like this. Jesus says, <laughs> Jesus is the only way yes. to the Father. Yeah. Man, if I can get some uh, slides up here. Um, <laughs> sin separates yes. God and men. Uh -huh. Amen. But Jesus is the bridge. Yeah. You know, he stretched out his arm. Yes. That's yes. a cross. Yes. That's a bridge that you can go from just people to God. Yes. He is the way. Yes. Amen. He's the bridge. He's the way, the only way to yes. the Father. Yes. He says, there is no other way. He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody comes to the Father except through me. Yes. So we need to realize this and get to know this, amen. Yeah. So if you're if you have never accepted Christ, this is the time. Yeah. <laughs> you know, hey, it's time to say, hey, Lord, Lord, I, I've sinned against you. I repent. I ask you to come be my Lord and Savior. Yes. And guess what? You'll come, yes, and you'll have a spiritual rebirth. Mm -hmm. You'll have a you're you're born again, a spiritual birth, amen. And He'll be your heavenly Father. And you know what? He's the bridge between you and the Father. Yeah. But he says, I'll make a way. God made a way. He said, Jesus, I'm getting way ahead of myself. That's okay. But Jesus in Matthew chapter 1, verses 18 through 25. Uh -huh. uh, well, that's okay. He said, the Holy Spirit 
and Mary, he chose Mary to be uh, this woman, this Virgin Mary, and chose her as a vessel yes. to bring Jesus into the world. That's how I think I told you last week. The Father and the Son met in heaven. <laughs> and he said, Son, I'm going to have to send you. I'm going to have to sacrifice you so I can get my people back. You're the way. You're the only way. And he says, okay. He agreed. And he, he was born of Virgin Mary. And Virgin Mary accepted it. And so did Joseph. He saw that. And Jesus made a way. He made a way for Jesus to come into this world and be our Lord and Savior. Amen. To be the way, the truth, and the life. Yeah. Amen. So praise God. God will make a way. Whatever you're facing, it doesn't yeah. matter. That's he says, whatever the situation may be, yeah. God will make, make a way. way. Mm -hmm. But you have to have a relationship with Him. Amen. Or, you know what? Make Him Lord of your life this day. If you've never accepted Him as your Lord and Savior, receive Him. Say, Lord, I receive you as my Lord and Savior. It's time for you to get busy for Him. And start doing for him. Amen. Woo. Man. I'm excited. I don't know about you. <laughs> but I'm excited. Let me take these off. Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> so he says. Jesus says. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Mm -hmm. This is another thing he says. He said in John 10.10. 10, he said. He said uh, uh, the, the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. He says. But I've come. Jesus says. I've come. That you might have life. And have it more abundantly. Uh huh. So you know what? When you make Jesus Lord of your life, He's going to bless you. Just don't forget about your yeah. blesser and get involved in just the blessings. Amen? He's going to continue to bless you as long as you're serving Him. Amen? Woo! Hallelujah! I'm excited all about you. <laughs> There's giants we face each day and they come daily. Don't let them control you. You control them. That's right. You speak to those problems. Don't tell you, your God, I've got big problems. Tell your problems, you got a big God. Uh, Amen. Yeah. We got to turn that around. Yes. And uh, also have a nugget here for you. And over there in our little stand, we have this. It says, let your say so's be according to the word of God. So each and every day, yeah. confess the right things. Uh -huh. Let your say so's be, I'm blessed, I'm a winner, I'm prosperous, I'm an overcomer, I'm a conqueror, I'm well liked. I'm fun to be around. I'm healthy. I'm talented. I'm creative. I'm faithful. I'm secure. I'm dis disciplined. I'm focused. I'm attractive. And I'm valuable. Yes. Did you hear those things? Uh -huh. so why don't you speak those things over yourself besides, I I'm no good. I amount to nothing. You know? And the world's going to disqualify you and say things about you. Uh -huh. And everybody else is going to say things yeah. about you. So why don't you start confessing what the Word of God says about you? Yeah, right. This is what it says about you. Woo! Hallelujah. Yeah. The right people are in my future. The right people are around me. Yeah. Woo! The right opportunities are heading my way. Yeah. You know, instead of confessing, wow, man, it's another day. Another losing day. Another day to, another day to battle. Another day, whatever. No, it says the right opportunities are heading my way. Amen. I will overcome any obstacles. There is a great day, a great year in, in, in my future. I have God's favor. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. You can fix these things over yourself. And you know what? You're not going to be just sitting down, laying down, and, and doing nothing. You're going to be excited and say, wait a minute. I'm somebody special yeah. whether people see it or not you know last week we talked about this you got to stir yourself up yes you do because nobody gonna tell you these things because you have a mouth and you can speak these words out yeah the Bible says death and life are in the power of the tongue so what are you gonna confess are you gonna continue to hear and confess the negative things or are you gonna continue to confess the positive things Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, I'm going to continue to confess the positive things yeah. until it comes to pass. Amen. Amen. Oh, come on now. <laughs> Whenever you begin to say the positive say so, mm -hmm. your life will never be the same. You will be a blessing. You'll go beyond your wildest dreams. Get ready for God to do impossible things in your life. Amen. Be happy, be blessed, and have not only a blessed day, but a blessed year. Mm-hmm. 
Amen. People looking at you and say, man, what's wrong with this person? Well, they got on fire for God. And they did a turnaround. Amen. <laughs> you know, nobody, I've told you this many times, but the battle of Israel, I mean, the, the, the army of Israel is facing the Egyptian army. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and the Philistine army. And, and, and is you know, they, they, they're just talking about the problem and the giant. And that's it. Yeah. David shows up and guess what? Mm -hmm. All he starts talking about is God. Mm -hmm. My God saw me through. My God will see me through. And that's what you need to do on a daily basis. My God will see me through this day. My God will see me through the days ahead. The days that are coming. My future. Be excited. Amen. God will make a way. Woo. Yeah. Man. <laughs> it's Jose. Pastor Jose on fire. God will make a way. Mm -hmm. You're God. With God, you're in control. Without God, you're out of control. Yes. You ever been in a car and have that car go out of control? Uh -huh. It's like, whoa, you lost control. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. You ever fa fail? <laughs> you was, oh, my God. Your words, your actions, your thoughts will yeah. make a way or break you. Mm -hmm. They'll make a way or they'll break you. How? Because positive or negative. Yeah. They'll make you or they'll break you. Keep positive. Mm -hmm. Let your say so be according to the word of God. Yeah. Stay in control. Feed your spirit, renew your mind, and crucify your flesh. Stay in faith, not in fear. For we walk by faith and not by sight. Yeah. Amen. That's what the Word of God says. Right. We walk by faith and not by That's fear. Amen. And you know what? Both of them have opportunities. Mm -hmm. And they both don't see. Mm -hmm. Amen. So what are you going to choose? Mm -hmm. I choose to walk by faith. Yeah. And not by fear. But you know what? The more you feed on the word of God, mm -hmm. the more you're going to walk in faith. Yes. Amen. So I'm going to stay in the word and walk in faith. And get fear gone. Fear is gone. Take a hike. <laughs> stay in faith. Trust him. Amen. Aim to please him. By, it says the Bible says in uh, Hebrews 11. 1, it says now faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things yeah. not seen. It also says in Hebrews 11, 6 that, but without faith, it is impossible to please Him. Yes. Amen. You know, if you're walking in fear, you ain't trusting God. That's it. If you're walking in fear, you're not standing on the Word. That's it. Amen. If you're walking in fear, you don't have no Word in you. Yes. You got to stay full. As yeah. a soldier of God, we got to stay spirit, Word filled. Period. You know, just like you keep your car full of gas mm -hmm. to go somewhere. We got to say word filled. Yes. Faith word filled. Yes. And confess yes. the word of God. Amen. John 6, uh, 16 33 says, I have told you these things so that you may uh, have peace. In this world you'll have troubles, uh -huh. tribulations. But take heart. I have overcome the world. Yes. He's telling us, I've been through what you're going through. Mm -hmm. I've been there. You know, a lot of times we say, well, you've never gone through this. Yeah. He's gone through worse than you have. Yes. He's, he's gone through worse than you will ever go through. That's right. Amen. And you didn't take the, you didn't take the beating and the stripes he took mm -hmm. like he did. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. So, hallelujah. He'll make a way. It says yeah. in Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean on in your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make a path he'll make a way Wait. he'll make a way Ooh, hallelujah thank you lord i think last week we talked about when the uh egyptian army was uh after moses and the people of israel and he was between the army egyptian army and and, and the red sea yeah he says lord i need make a way and he did he opened he opened the red sea for them to walk through yeah. On dry land. Amen. He'll make a way. Whatever your situation may be, it. it's not impossible right. with Him. With God, all things are possible. Are Amen. Right. Giant storms, giant problems <laughs> come to all, save and unsaved. Oh, yeah. But you know what? We know our source, we know whose we are, and what we can do through with Him. Yes. Amen. This is the difference. They don't. I do. Okay? <laughs> I don't get high. <laughs> I get high on the most high. He is my most high. Yes. And I get high on him. Lord, I need you again. 
I need you now more than ever before. Amen. Ooh, that was a beautiful song. Thank you, praise team. That was awesome. I need you now more than ever. More, more, more. Amen. Ooh. If you trust God and keep on walking in faith, trust Him and keep on walking with Him. Amen. Ooh. I want Him by my side all the time. And you know what He says? His word says, I'll never leave you enough forsake you. Yes, it does. He's with me. And last week we read the uh, the prince on, in the sand. We know that he's there with us all the time. Yes. Yes. He's not going anywhere. He's going to be there. He's going to take care of us. Yes. He's going to fight our battles. Uh, let's see. Well, I'll just put that up for now. But still, God will make a way. Yes, He will. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not in your own understanding, but in all your ways submit to Him, and He'll make a path for you. Yes. So don't worry, don't be anxious. And uh, Philippians four and six, six and seven says this: Be anxious for what? Nothing. For nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, yes. let your requests be made known to God. God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your heart yes. and mind. Through Christ Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Come on now. <laughs> so be patient be tr and trust. Know that He is there for you. Amen. Amen. He is there for you. Are you there for Him? Mm -hmm. Amen. Like I said, we're His army. Yes. And He's counting on you. Yes. So you know what? We can't go AWOL. <laughs> we can't go high. We just can't be uh, uh, lukewarm and oh, pretending yeah. to be Christians pretending to be soldiers, you know. Mm -hmm. He needs soldiers in his army. Yes, he does. But we need to be battle ready. Yes. And you ain't gonna be. You can't be a part-time Christian against a, a full-time devil. That's it. Oh, you gotta keep yourself your strong and be a full-time, mm -hmm. full-time Christian. Amen. Mm -hmm. Ooh, come on now. So know who you are and do your best for him. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. God will make a way. Yes, he will. And. Uh, some of these uh, we, we read he'll make a way he made a way for them to get out of uh, uh, Egypt he made a way for them to cross the Red Sea yes. he made a way for them to uh, cross in the wilderness mm -hmm. amen you know that was only a few days a journey but because of that number uh, lead, yeah. that took years yeah. took yeah. 40 plus years mm. you know and that was only a few days journey yeah and all kinds of hell broke loose amen yes, mm -hmm. <laughs> he made a way for them into the promised land yeah. jesus says i'm giving you this land mm -hmm. it's a promised land i'm giving yeah. you but still he said spies in there 10 came back with bad report oh. two came back with positive reports we can do it we can do all things through christ no the rest of them says no man we saw giants <laughs> you know, when you go out into your world, what do you see? Do you see giants? Or you say, man, there's great opportunities out here for me. Who's in your heart first? <laughs> he made a way for Jesus, of course. John 3, 16. He was born, of, uh, we said a few minutes ago, he was born of Virgin Mary. But Father says, you know, uh, let's go to John 3, 16. Yes. Amen. We use the word of God here. That's the only way that's going to see us through. Yeah. John 3 16. Oh. We, we all know it, but it's okay to open the Bible and, and read, it. read it. It says, For God so loved the world. world. For God so you can put your, your world, you can put your name right there. Mm -hmm. For God so loved me. Yes. That he made a way for me. Mm -hmm. By sending Jesus. Amen. He made a way. For God so loved the world. That he did what? He gave his only begotten yes. son. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have yes. everlasting life. life. Amen. Yes. Everlasting life. You know, uh, I talked about Jesus being the bridge between man and God. He's the bridge. He's the only way to the Father. But what you have to do is, the gap is sin. Sin separate us. So we have to receive him as our Lord and Savior. Yes. When you receive him as Lord and Savior, you know, you'll have everlasting life receiving him. So let's 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 remember that. He made a way for Paul and Silas. 
You rescued him at the midnight hour. Well, you don't know <laughs> in the midnight hours. You know when you can't call nobody else. Yeah. You can call on God. Paul and Silas, you know what they were doing? They weren't sad. <laughs> they were singing praises unto God. And he heard them. And he shows up. And he, the bonds, the uh, chains fell off. Prison doors fell open. <laughs> and the guard drops to his knees and go ready to kill himself. Mm -hmm. Says, wait a minute, we're all here. Don't yeah, hurt yeah. yourself. Right. His family got saved. Mm -hmm. Amen. Woo. Come on now. Yes. <laughs> Jesus shows up. Yes, he does. Whatever your situation may be, Jesus, let, give Jesus the opportunity to yes. come. Amen. Yes. Say, I need you, Lord, now more than ever before. Mm -hmm. hey, more than more. ever before. Amen. Now. Lord, I need you now. Yes. Amen. Amen. Wherever the situation may be, wherever you may be going through, yes. I need to help, Lord. I need you now. Yes. Amen. Somebody needs to say, come on now. Amen. All you need to do is, <laughs> if you can't drop to your knees, mm -hmm. you can just open your mouth yes. and say, Lord, I need you. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. I repent. I confess my sins. Come into my life. Be my Lord and say, I can't say that enough. You need yes. to confess him. Amen. Amen. You need to confess it with your mouth. Yes. Since if you confess with your mouth, the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart, God raised it from the dead, you shall be saved. Yes, I don't care who said what. Mm -hmm. Read what the Word of God says yes. so that you don't go by who, whosoever says. Yeah. Yeah. Go by what the Word of God says. Yes. Yes. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. You confess it and you're going to be saved. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Woo. Hallelujah. God made a way for Job. His friend says, <laughs> just curse your God and die. Mm. <laughs> How many friends have I had <laughs> to tell me, you know, just your God is crazy. Just mm. curse your God and die, mm. you know. No. He made a way for him. He took, he lost, but guess what? He didn't lose. God gave him double yes. of what he had. That's right. Oh, man. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Yes. He made a way for Daniel. I'm so glad uh, God was there. Yeah. God was there. Yes, Amen. <laughs> he closed a lion's mouth mm -hmm. or jaws, whatever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it wouldn't take him. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe it fed their stomachs. You know, they say, "Oh, we don't want, we don't want, we don't want Daniel. <laughs> I mean, we don't want anything right now." Oh, but he saved them. Amen. Uh -huh. Come on. <laughs> yeah. He made a way for Joseph. From slave to second in command yes. over the whole uh, country of uh, Egypt. Mm -hmm. Amen. They try to kill him. No, we don't kill him. We'll just say we sell, sell him into slavery. Mm. Whatever you've gone through, Joseph went through a lot. But you know what? God always promoted him. Yes. God's going to promote you. Yes. But you be faithful in the little things. You be yeah. faithful in whatever God has put you over. Yes. And be faithful and God's going to promote you. God's going to make a way. God's going to make opportunity for, yeah. for, 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 for you to be promoted. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. he, <laughs> he made a, 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 a way for, for, for Lot. Mm -hmm. And his wife. But he told him what to do and not to do. <laughs> and she turned around. No. <laughs> but he made a way for them to get out of Sodom and Gomorrah. Yes. Amen. Yes. He made a way for uh, David. Over Goliath. Listen to this. <laughs> Man, this just chokes me up. But and it thrills me. But from a shepherd boy that nobody you know, how would you like to tell somebody, you know, hey, I'm just a little shepherd boy. Mm -hmm. And next thing you know is God's promoted him mm -hmm. to King of Israel. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, you know, whatever, whatever whatever you're doing, whatever you yes. are, see yourself the way God sees you. Amen. Amen. You might be a little shepherd boy, but God sees a king. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Yes. People see this, but God sees yes. a winner. Amen. God sees an overcomer. Mm -hmm. You know, God sees a champion. Yes, yes. See yourself that way. Yes. If you don't see yourself that way, you don't stir yourself up, you know. The world's going to keep you down. The enemy's going to keep you low and down, you know. Yep. And you don't want to do that, amen? You don't want to see yourself that way. 
That's right. Woo! He made a way for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Mm. Since <laughs> they were rescued from the fire. Mm. The main thing is, God was there. In the fire with them. In the fire with them. Mm. You know, he got right into it. You know? Say, wait a minute. People saw. And they says, we threw three people in there. We threw three in there. But we see four. Mm -hmm. What's going on? Mm -hmm. Amen. When people see you on fire for God, man, they mm -hmm. say, man, you're just a different person. Yeah. You're not the, per you're, you're not yeah. the same person anymore. Oh. You're totally different. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. God is with me. Yeah. God is in me. He says, my body is the temple yes. of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Amen. See yourself that way. Say, thank you, Lord. Yeah. Amen. I want him. <laughs> I need him. He made a way Amen. for them. And he'll make a way for you. Yes. That's the main thing. Mm -hmm. God will make a way. Yes, he will. Amen. He'll make a way. He made a way for them. Mm -hmm. He'll make a way for you. Why? Yes. Because I'm a child of God. Mm -hmm. So quit go, going around calling yourself, I'm a nobody. Mm -hmm. I'm a sinner. You know, saved by grace. You know. mm -hmm. Well, you're a child of God. And you call yourself that he's your heavenly father. Yes. I'm his child. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he takes care of his children. Yes, Amen. Yes. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Mark 16, 15, and, and 20. And uh, we can start closing with this. But this is for us. And I'm speaking this to us. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm speaking this to you. God gave, the, gave us this. Mark 16, 15 through 20 says this. He says, and he said to them, go. I think last week we talked about when Peter saw uh, Jesus walking on water. He says, wow, I want to come play too. I want to walk on water. And you know, all Jesus said was come. That was enough for things to happen. And he started walking on the water. Yes, Amen. But now he's telling us to go. That's two thirds of God's oh, name. Gosh. Go. G O. <laughs> go. He says, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Yes. Amen. Go preach the gospel. Well, I can't do it. Well, quit saying no. I can't. That's right. I can't. The Bible says, I can do oh, all Christ. things through Christ who strengthens me. So I can do. I'm a can do person, not a can't do. You know, we got to get off of that. I can't. Right. Amen. <laughs> he who believeth in me and is baptized will be saved. But he who does not believe in me will be condemned. Right. And these signs will follow those who believe. Yes. Are you a believer? Mm -hmm. Now these signs are going to follow me. Mm -hmm. In my name, they will cast out demons. Yes. So, you know, you don't have to say, you know, well, I'm going to go get Sister, Sister, Sister uh, Holy Holy. You know, so she can cast out the devil. Or I gotta go see Pastor so he can come and cast out this devil. No, no. you do it. He says, In my name, they believers will cast out demons. Mm -hmm. You know, hey, we fight spiritual battles, we fight mm -hmm. enemies, we fight spirit yes. enemies. Amen. But guess what? I have authority over them. Yeah. And I can cast them out in the name of Jesus. Uh -huh. So let's remember this. Amen. We fight a spiritual battle each and every day. Yeah. Amen. And the battlefield, there's a battlefield in the mind going on all the time. All the time. But you got to have the word. If you have the word of God in you, these things yes. won't overtake you. Right. Because I'm going to be in right, in right mind. I'm going to yeah. be in his mind. Amen. Yes. So in my name they will cast out demons. They will speak with new tongues. They will take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing. It will not harm them. Or hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick. And yes. they will recover. They will lay hands on the sick. And they will recover. So we don't have to go get sister holy holy. Or we don't have to go get pastor. Or we don't have to go get so and so. Yeah. You lay hands on the sick. Yes. And they will recover. Amen. That's what the word of God says. Yes, it does. So I'm going to believe what the word of God says. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to, I, I, I'm standing on your word, and I'm going to do what your word, what your yes. word says. Ooh, come on now. 
Christ ascended to the right hand of God, a place of authority. Yes. So then after the Lord had spoken to them, he, he was received into heaven and said, the right hand of God. Uh -huh. And they went out and preached everywhere, yes. the Lord working with them yeah. and confirming the word through the accompanying signs. Yes. Amen. The Lord working with them. He is with me. He says he never leaves you nor forsakes you. Okay. He's always with me. Yeah. And confirms his word. Amen. So yes. just know this because the enemy uses people as well. Oh yeah. They're not so loud to God, so they sold out to him. But he uses people, and they're going to say, God won't do this for you. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't do this, mm -hmm. but the Word of God says. So yes. I'm going to stand firm yes. on what the Word of God says. Right. Yeah. And this is what he has for you. We're closing with this. Know this. God has a plan for you. Yes. Remember, he's called to you. He has a plan for you. He's anointed you. Yes. He's given you power. He's given you authority. Yes. Amen. You have to receive this yes. and yes. act on this. Amen. Yes. So, um, let me see what I'll do with it. Uh, You can write this down. This is believers. They just don't read the word. They talk the word. And they live the word. Amen. You read it. You talk it. And you live it. You read it. You speak it. And you live it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You do that. God's going to bless. Amen. Amen. Uh, okay, he has a plan for you. He's called you. He's anointed you. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah 29, 11 says this in the NIV. For I know the plans I have for you, declared the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. None of God's plans for you are uh, uh, include defeat. Yes. None of them. Yes, yes. However, the devil plans for you include steal, kill, and destroy. Mm -hmm. So you be careful. <laughs> are you walking with him? Or are you walking with the world? Or are you walking with the enemy? No, I'm going to walk with the Lord. Amen. Yeah. He is called, anointed, equipped, and gifted us with everything needed to complete our mission. Amen. Keep yourselves stirred up daily. Yes. Philippians 4, in closing, Philippians 4.13 says this. I can do all things all through things. Christ who strengthens me. Yeah. Amen. On a daily basis, as yes. you spend time with Him, before you step out, you know, say, yes. Lord, I can do all things to You. Amen. Amen. You strengthen me. Amen. Yes. And, and, and and His Word says in Psalms 118, 24, this is the day the Lord has given yes. me. And I will rejoice and be glad in it. And I will step out in faith yes. and do all things Amen. through Him. Amen. So praise God. I hope that blessed you. It blessed yes. me. Amen. <laughs> So, if it's not, then we need to pray for you. Uh -huh. Or you need to get saved. Amen. Yes. Let's do it again. Amen. Lord. This is for you. Receive yes. it. Amen. Amen. If you've never received it, you know, as we close, you know, mm -hmm. this is an opportunity for you just to say, Lord Jesus, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come in my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Yes. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. So, if you have anything hurting you, need a healing from you right now, all you need to do is say, by Jesus stripes, I'm healed. healed. My body is yeah. the temple of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. You spirit of infirmity, I give you no place. No place. You spirit of sickness, go in Jesus' name. I receive my healing right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. And bless me. It heal me. Yeah. <laughs> It'll do yeah. the same for you. Right. He's no respecter of person. That's Amen. Right. So praise God. Amen. Yeah. So if you're watching and you still like to give your tithe and offerings, all you have to do is go to our website, nbcbigben.com, hit that donate button. If you're mailing it, NBC PO Miles 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. Amen. Amen. And we just want to let you know we love you. God bless you and have a blessed week. Amen. Praise God.